so today is uh, we will try together to to solve this uh, matrix equation uh, using uh, the software matlab so this matrix equation we have built it together uh, last tuesday uh, it was uh, related to this force analysis problem we have a four bar mechanism uh, to this four bar mechanism uh, there is a load p on the bar cd and which is given and a load uh, and the moment m on the bar ab uh, we assume that the position problem has been solved so we know at this step uh, all bar angles and of course we know the geometry so we know uh, all bar lengths so this is uh, the input of the problem and we are going to find what will be m and what will be the reactions in the pin joints uh, we have written together uh, last tuesday uh the equilibrium equations for each bar for the bar ab for the bar bc and the four uh, and for the bar cd and uh together uh starting okay for each bar there is three uh, equilibrium equations uh, two for the forces and one for the moment so we have three equations for each bar uh, in all we have nine equations so together we built from that nine equations uh, this uh, matrix equation uh, we have a nine by nine matrix times a nine by one vector which is equal to a nine by one vector uh, in order to have uh, some numerical values and uh, to have just as example uh, i have chosen these values uh, I have considered 30 centimeters for the bar AB, uh, 20 centimeters for the bar BC, uh, 41.55 uh, centimeters for the bar CD. Uh, the load P will be at a distance ED uh, of 25 centimeters. Uh, the angle of bars actually should be solved. Uh, we have as input 60 degrees for theta 2, but we should solve for theta 3 and theta 4. Uh, and for the load p we have 40 degrees okay this is uh, should be the input of the problem um, we'll try to find what will be the moment m and what are the reactions here we have two reactions ax and ay uh, bx and by two reactions in each pin joint and uh, of course cx cy dx dy so in all we have nine unknowns uh, two reactions in each joint, pin joint, and uh, plus the moment. Uh, so we are going to write a program on MATLAB uh, to uh, solve this equation. So uh, in the beginning, we need to give the data. Okay, we need to give all uh, the input uh, data uh, to the problem. So we start with the data. So when I say percentage, it's just a comment. So this is not something that uh, that MATLAB will execute. It's just for the reader or the user of the programs. It's just to make a comment. Uh, now, okay, uh, here I will start maybe first to give uh, the bar lengths one by one. So I will give A, B, B, C, C, D, uh, A, D, and E, D. Uh, so uh, I will have uh, this data. So I will have the distance AB. It's 30. So here, MATLAB do, do, doesn't know the unit. It's up to you to to interpret later on the values in terms of the unit that you have used. It. Okay, just I make it as a comment for me for the user that this is this value is in centimeter but for MATLAB he knows that there is just one variable and this variable is called a b and uh, for this variable we have assigned the value of 30. the first variable was a b uh, the second 
let's move on with this bar length is so distance BC uh, it's a 20 uh, again centimeters so centimeters just uh, for us uh, now uh, the bar uh, CD okay uh, the bar CD is uh, 41.55 centimeters Uh, the bar AD, which will be 53.09 uh, centimeters. Uh, and uh, I need also the distance ED uh, to be uh, 25 centimeters. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, what I need as, okay, let me see here. For, uh, to build the matrix, I need to give P, the distances, CD, B, C, A, B. Actually, even I don't need AD. Uh, I don't need to, to, to put AD, okay? So I will remove it because it's, it's useless. And uh, the angles. Uh, I need uh, theta 2, theta 3, theta, uh, not theta 4, 5, 4, uh, but 5, 4 is 180 degrees minus theta 4, okay? So, uh, let me remove AD first because it's, it's not required to build the matrix and uh, put the angles. So, I will have theta 2, uh, it's 60 degrees, but uh, I need to make it in radian. Uh, so in radian, it will be pi uh, over 3. Because I will use it uh, to calculate cosine and sine. Uh, so uh, it will accept it in radian. So this is the unit is radian. Uh, theta 3. Theta 3 will be... 30 degrees, it means pi over 6 uh, here. So I'm just putting all the data uh, given. Uh, theta 4 uh, equal, uh, so uh, theta 4, yes, here it's uh, 120 degrees. 2 times pi uh, divided by 3 also in radian and phi 4 okay i prefer okay i can put directly phi 4 is 60 degrees but in case i will change the value of theta 4 i will make it uh, i will calculate it so it will change automatically so it will be uh, 180 pi minus theta 4 uh, so these are the angles yes theta p also theta p uh, theta p the load the angle of the force uh, here it's 40 degrees uh, so it is pi multiplied by uh, 4 and divided by 180 degrees uh, 40 and divided by 100 no uh, 180 degrees yes so this is the load what i need else i think i have here uh, all the required data ah uh, i need to give the load p also so i need to give the load p the force and here it is equal to 100 newton okay 100 newton and here everything is in radian Now I have finished uh, assigning, defining the variables because uh, MATLAB do, doesn't know what is P, what is AB. It's just uh, a, a variable. Uh, here I have assigned all uh, the necessary data. Now I will start to build the matrix equation. 
the matrix equation i will build the matrix and the right hand vector okay then i will solve to find the unknown vector so i have what i have a matrix times the unknown vectors it is the unknown so i don't know it and equal the right hand vector so i will build the matrix then i will build the right hand vector the two uh, known vectors or matrices okay so here i will build uh, the matrix equation or the matrix uh, the matrix and the right hand vector so first we can start by either one uh, let's start for example by the right hand vector as it is uh, the simple one so let's start by uh, the right hand vector. So anything in green, it's a comment. It's just uh, to explain what I am doing. So this is, uh, uh, when I say percentage like this one, the MATLAB, when it will be run the MATLAB program, it will be ignored. It's just for the user. So the right hand vector, I will have a vector which will be nine by one, so uh, one column and nine rows. I will have P cosine theta P for the first, P sine theta P for the second, and minus P times ZD times sine uh, theta P plus phi four for the third. And later on, it will be zeros. So I will build this vector row by row, one by one. So let's say uh, vector right, I will name it. It's just a name that I will give it, you can name it uh, something that, okay, uh, that tells you what is it, but you can name it VR, any, anything that, that is related to, to explain what will be uh, this vector. So matrices as vectors, uh, to define them, I need to open uh, like this brackets. So, uh, and, uh, I will give uh, the elements one by one. To say that uh, I move from one element to another on the same row, I need to give either a space or a comma. And to say that, okay, I am going to the uh, uh, row after, I need to give semicolons. So for example, let's put the first element of uh, the right hand vector. The first element is P cosine theta P. It's P cosine theta P. So I will give P. Now, when I will calculate here, he knows what is P. He will go back here and P is 100. So he will uh, consider that P is 100. P times cosine theta P. So again, here he will find that theta P he will go back and uh, and get what will be the values. Now this is for the first row, first row. So to tell MATLAB that, okay, I'm going to the second row, I need to put here semicolon. I can complete the whole vector on the same line, uh, but uh, okay, for more clarity, I will move to the uh, next line, it's better. But it's just for for MATLAB, the semicolon that tells that tells him that okay we move from one row to another. The second row is p times sine theta p. Again, I will put semicolon to tell that I move to the row after, and the last the third one, the last non-zero uh, element is minus p times ed again the this uh, the variable for him it's he, matlab doesn't know if it is a distance or not he, he just knows that there is one variable called ed and this variable has the value of 25 this is all that uh, matlab knows about this one so p times ed times sine theta p plus 
Okay. And again, I have completed this row. Now, later on, I will have zero for the fourth zero. I need to put each time a semicolon to tell that I am moving to the next row. So here, zero, 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 and zero. Okay, and I have completed now the vector. I have with this line is from 18 to 28. I will uh, give the comments that will uh, let MATLAB calculate the second or the right hand vector. Now with this, I have calculated the right hand factor. Now I will move to define the matrix. I will do the same. I will define them row by row. So let's call, for example, it is the matrix. I can call it differently. I will open these brackets. Okay. Now, uh, and I will start first row for the matrix i will have the first column zero second column zero 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 i have minus one in the fifth column and one in the seventh column and after that everything is zero so this is what i will tell matlab first column zero now to tell i am moving from one column to another i can make space or i can make just comma so i prefer making comma uh, zero for the second column zero for the third zero for the fourth minus one for the fifth zero for the sixth uh, is one for the seventh and zero for the eighth and zero for the ninth now here I have completed the first row, so I will tell MATLAB that to move to the second row. With that, I need to put semicolon. Okay, so I have defined it, the first row. Okay, if you, you would like to, to see, uh, okay, what, what will happen? So what I will do is to move this one uh, like here. The semicolon at the end of the row, it tells MATLAB that to calculate without showing. If I remove it, uh, it will let us show the results here. Okay, I, I will show you what the difference. So now I will run here, run the, the program. So here the, the, the program has been uh, executed, it's fine, but it doesn't show here any result, okay. To tell MATLAB to show me the result, what I will, uh, uh, for example, for AB, I will remove the semicolon here, for example, he will show, show me the, the value of AB. Uh, I can for the matrix also, just to show you the matrix here. Now the matrix is, is one row, nine columns so i have removed at the end the semicolon and now he will show me what the matrix once built so here he showed me that a b has the value of 30 and that the matrix is 0 0 0 0 minus 1 0 1 0 0 one row because this is what i have uh, assigned to the matrix okay i will uh, put back the semicolon because I don't need to show uh, the, the value of AB, uh, but I will remove here the semicolon because I need to see what is the value of the right-hand vector and also uh, the matrix. Let me give the second row. Second row will be everything zero except for column number six and number eight. So I will have zero, 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 and zero, and 
minus one and uh, zero and one and zero. Okay, I don't have that uh, everything should be organized. I can make just simply space. I can make even like this one, just space, one space, uh, it's okay. Uh, okay. Even no space, a comma is, uh, it's fine. So here I can make this one like this. So this is it, the second row. I can move to the third row. So in the third row, I will have four zeros. I will have CD sine phi four, CD cosine uh, phi four, and uh, three zeros. So this is what I will tell MATLAB for the third row. I will have zero, zero. This is the first four. Then I will have CD, CD times sine phi four. Then I will have CD times cosine phi four. And I will have three zeros. Okay, we can just run check. Uh, everything is fine. Yes, uh, pi, yes, PG, he don't know, he know phi. I defined the variable as phi, so that's why his, uh, okay, it's phi four, so that's why. Uh, so if I run now, it will be phi. Now he, he calculated, MATLAB calculated the three first rows of, of the matrix, okay? Uh, again, I can uh, go ahead, fourth row, uh, fourth row, zero, zero, minus one, zero, zero, uh, no one, and then zero, zero, zero. Okay, I have uh, two zeros, minus one, zero, one, and four zeros. Okay, this is the fourth one. Then uh, row number five, zero, 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 minus one, zero, one, and then zero, zero, and zero. And this is uh, column number one. Uh, I will move a little bit faster. Zero, zero, zero. I have four zeros. And then I will have minus BC times sine theta three. I will have BC times cosine theta three. And I will have zero, zero, and zero. I have completed uh, row number six. Uh, row number seven, minus one, zero, one, and uh, I will have uh, six zeros, zero. One, yes, it's okay, fine. Then uh, I will have zero minus one, zero, one, and five zeros. And uh, the last uh, row, I will have zero, zero, and I will have minus AB times sine theta two. I will have AB times cosine theta two, and I will have 
four zeros. And one for the last element and semicolon. And I have completed the definition of the matrix. Now, if I run uh, the matrix, uh, the, I run the program, now MATLAB, he can calculate the right hand vector, this one, and he can calculate. The matrix he has now all the matrix elements now what i need is to solve this matrix and to solve this matrix now solve the matrix equation now this is just a comment for me to know what i'm going to do and first i need to inverse the matrix Okay, so I need to tell MATLAB to invert the matrix. And what the, the inversion of the matrix, I will name it any name you want, but for me, it's just to, to have express full names. I will name it inf matrix. This is, will be uh, where MATLAB will store uh, the inversion of the matrix. Now, to tell MATLAB to invert, it's quite simple. It is only the command which is inv, INV. And I will put the matrix here. And now he can uh, invert it. I will remove here the semicolon at the end to show the result. So I will run now. I'll show you. Now, here, MATLAB has first calculated the matrix and then here he has inverted the matrix i have here uh, matrix minus one to calculate now the unknowns let's say vector uh, okay now i will solve so the vector of unknowns okay what will be the matrix inversion in matrix times the right hand vector, the vector right. This now, again, I will not put a semicolon at the end in order to show the result. So this is, with this command, I will solve the problem. I will have my, my result. Okay, I will save it. And I will run. And I have my results here. I have my results here. Now, uh, I have my results. Now, they are organized the same way I have organized my vector of unknowns. So the first element of the vector solution will be AX. The second element will be AY, BX, and so on and so on. So I need just to take them one by one. So what I will do first to get reactions. So what I will tell you, uh, Matlab, that the first element correspond to AX of the solution. So the vector, let's tell him that this is the solution, okay? I will name it solution better. So the first element of solution correspond to AX. The second element correspond to AY and so on. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. So the first element correspond to AX. The second element correspond to AY. Second, third element correspond to BX. Uh, number four correspond to BY. Uh, number five correspond to C. Because this is the way I have uh, organized the vector of unknowns uh, when I built the matrix 
equation. So the number five is CY and then CX. Number six is CY. Uh, number seven is DX. Number eight is uh, DY. And the moment external clock will be the element number nine of the solution. And this is will call be called F. Okay, now when I will run, I will get uh, my results, the final results. So here I will have. AX, AY, BX, BY, CX, CY, DX, DY, and the moment. Now, uh, I have used it for the force in Newton. So all reactions will be in Newton. So this is also a comment for the user. Uh, okay, if I change uh, now, uh, for the moment, I have used a centimeter for distance and Newton for the force. So here, the moment will be Newton centimeter. Okay, be careful for this one because I have used it centimeters for for uh, for distance. Now here, the moment will be equal to almost uh, 888 uh, Newton centimeters. 